So to answer the question quickly, yes, running a thicker engine oil, meaning a higher viscosity rating, will increase engine oil pressure, at least the PSI or the KPA rating. However, it's a horrible idea. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Depth Tape Channel, and in this video, we're going to be discussing whether running a thicker engine oil in your engine will help if you're having a low oil pressure condition. All right, so let's get into it. So to answer the question quickly, yes, running a thicker engine oil, meaning a higher viscosity rating, will increase engine oil pressure, at least the PSI or the KPA rating. However, it's a horrible idea, and we're gonna be discussing why in this video. And to understand why it's a horrible idea, you need to understand how the oil system works and how basically pressure is built in a closed system. So let's get into that. So to understand how oil pressure is built in your engine, we're gonna use a water hose as an analogy. Now this hose, as you can see, is flowing water, but basically it's zero pressure until you apply a restriction. This in turn forces the water to increase in pressure to bypass the restriction. Now, engine oil is not water. It comes in different viscosities, which is the number rating of the oil. This is 15W40 that we're looking at here at zero degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see it's pretty much like pancake syrup. The smaller the number, meaning a zero rating would be more like water, and the higher the number, the more like pancake syrup that the oil operates like. So as you can see in that short clip, to create pressure in a system, you need two things. You need flow of a fluid and you need a restriction to that flow. If you just have flow, no restriction, you have no pressure. If you have a lot of restriction but no flow, you have no pressure, so you need both. So if your engine is experiencing low oil pressure, you either have a reduction in restriction, a reduction in flow, or both. Now, what creates the flow in your engine is something called an oil pump, which takes oil out of your oil pan and then pumps it into your oil galleries and through your filter, and that in turn gives you your flow. Now, what's the restriction? Well, the engine doesn't just dump all the oil back in the oil pan. It actually goes to different items in your engine to help lubricate and cool them, and those items are called bearings and typically engines run what they call journal bearings this is a connecting rod bearing and this bearing is out of a large diesel engine and this bearing has about a million miles on it countless millions of rotations of the crankshaft have taken place in this bearing but as you can see it doesn't look that bad there's a couple little scratches but not that bad a condition now this is what you don't want to happen this is what they call a spun bearing and as you can see, it's heavily discolored due to basically contacting the crankshaft and spinning around it, which it's not supposed to do. So what happens if you put thicker oil in your engine? Well, you are increasing the restriction, not the flow. If you increase the restriction, it's going to be harder for the oil to pass through the engine, to pass through the bearings, and to pass through the oil pump and that is gonna increase your oil pressure. Your PSI or KPA will increase. However, that's not a good thing. Having good oil pressure is a good thing, but only at the right viscosity of oil. Because if you just increase your oil pressure, but you're using the wrong viscosity, a much thicker oil, what is happening is the gap between your bearings and the crankshaft, or between this bearing and the camshaft, is not gonna get filled up with oil quickly enough. And what needs to happen is there's a very thin film of oil between your bearings and the crankshaft or the camshaft, whatever component needs to be protected from metal to metal contact. If you don't get enough flow in those gaps, which are very small, they're thousandths of an inch, two, three thousandths. If you're running a small car engine, it might be in the tens of thousands. We're talking less than the width of a human hair. There's gonna be air pockets instead of oil. And air, unlike oil, which is a liquid, is compressible, which means when force is applied to the connecting rod or the crankshaft, it can actually cause metal to metal contact, which damages the bearing, the crankshaft, whatever two metal components are touching each other. And that's where you get spun bearings and engine damage. If you have low oil pressure, don't just put thicker oil in it. What you need to do is 
fix the underlying problem. It might be something as simple as a plugged oil filter, it might be a bad check valve, a bad oil pump. There's many causes. Of course, it could be something major, such as already a damaged bearing or something, but just pouring thicker oil is not going to fix the condition. It's basically putting a Band-Aid on a condition that needs to be rectified, all right? Hopefully, you learned a little bit in this video. Thanks for watching.